Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0501 code, what it means and how you go about fixing it. So what is the Honda P0501 code? Well, it's a vehicle speed sensor range performance. And what does this mean? Well, in older vehicles, like from the 90s to the mid 2000s roughly, before they put speed sensors on every single wheel, they'd use a single speed sensor usually located on the transmission for all its data. It would send this back to the onboard computer and then display it to the driver. So if you're getting this error code, it's either going to be the speed sensor or the wiring. And the wiring harness in, in these Hondas for the speed sensor was notoriously bad. A lot of people would have to swap them out completely. Uh, you could test them and just see. It, it might not be bad. It might just be the speed sensor. But keep in mind, those, the wiring, the wiring harness and all that, they, they quite commonly would go bad. But the first thing to do would be to go ahead and swap out the speed sensor. I'll jump over on Amazon, give you an idea how much they cost. And they're not high cost items or nothing. Here's a 94 to 97 Honda Accord. It's only like $11. So they're not like humongously high cost parts or nothing. And so what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0501 code? Well, first thing to do would be Google where the sensor is located on your vehicle because there can't be differences between different years and engine types and things like this. So first thing you want to do is you want to locate where the sensor is located. It'll be called the VSS sensor or the vehicle speed sensor. And once you locate it, be sure to check out the wiring because the wiring harness was notoriously bad on these and they can't cause issues. You have to get out a meter to test it and, th and things like this. You have to get schematics for your particular Honda when you do go to test it since, again, there can't be differences. But most people would, would go ahead and just swap out the sensor and then if that doesn't solve the problem, then they would start troubleshooting the wiring. And there is harnesses available to, to completely replace it if it is bad or if just beyond repair if, if that's the problem. So that's the basics of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P0501. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview that if you have a Honda with the P0501 code, how you go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.